Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barak Nawa, Barak Nawa, Barak Nawa, Call of Law Yahweh by Shunahu Shai. Shalom, this is your brother Malcolm from the branch of Great Millstone here in Chicago, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shunahu Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, uh, declaring a fair use act. All right, I, this is uh, I am not using this footage for monetary gain or profit. It's being used for informational and educational uses only. And this is footage from uh, Vice. And the name of the video is The Racist Legacy of War on Drugs. The War on Drugs. And I first want to start with the scripture, which is Psalms. 64 and 8 and it reads so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away so Aegis has a spirit on him in these last days to expose his crimes his true history. All right. And shameful spewing is being put upon that glory. All right. As a matter of fact, let's grab that real quick. That's in Habakkuk. That scripture comes out a lot in these days. Because you find that their history is all tainted at lies. And the more it comes out, the more shameful and embarrassing it is to them. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shameful glory. Drink thou also, let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory. So yes, shameful spewing is upon thy glory. And yes, and the right hand of the Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, the grim reaper, to them, well, and to the two-thirds and the heathen too, is about to be turned loose on you. But without any further ado, that was a video that Ryan Colasso filmed recently in London while being stopped and searched in his car. What the police in this video didn't know was that when they stopped him, Ryan was actually driving home from doing an interview about police racial profiling. <laughs> Can you believe that? The man was doing a video about police racial profiling when this was to happen to him. This is Job 20 and 10. And it reads, his children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods. So see, this guy's making a video trying to make amends for what his forefather has done. Because, you know, you got some people out there that think that there are good Edomites, that there's a few good ones. And, and you have to understand, even if there are, if there is such a thing, the Lord judges the whole nation. You see, the Lord judges the whole nation. There were always people amongst us who were trying to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments. There were always people amongst us who did not want to eat pork, shrimp, lobster, who, who, we, who, uh, uh, there were wives who were loyal to their husbands and not adulteresses. There were men who were loyal to their people and would not sleep with another man's wife. You know, there were always people amongst us who would not worship false gods. But yet, when we went down, the entire nation went down. And that's what a lot of these Edomites and these Christians and these other heathens and the two-thirds who love the enemy so much need to come to that understanding that the Lord judges the entire nation. 
because he's been stopped 22 times. At times I can be followed and it's, it is interesting to say it as a location scout because that means I'm all over the UK. It's just something that's sitting in my head all the time and again I still find it very surreal. And it was literally like, not again. This can't keep happening to me, man. If you're black in the UK, you're 10 times more likely to be stopped and searched by the police than if you're white. In the US, close to 80% of people in federal prison for drug crimes are black or Latinx. Ooh, this is Isaiah. Forty-two and twenty-two, and it reads, "But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver, for a spoil and none saith restore." There's so much meat in the scripture. All right. Because the snares are the system. Because even if you're not in jail, they get you. you they get you caught up in other forms of uh, of, uh, of of their correction facilities by way of payments. You know that whole Title Four D under Section Twenty Two, which they call child support. That's another one that can also railroad you to jail or railroad your paychecks, rob and spoil you. And contrary to popular belief, that is a fraudulent act because it was never enacted into positive law. All right. Therefore, it is a law. It's done under the color of law, which means it's illegal. And then the way that they use that particular thing. All right. Just like they use this war on drugs. They they deny people due process in doing it. All right. That's where the where the fraud comes in. And the, and the silver, uh, uh, the, uh, actually, the fraud is is the fact that it isn't under the it is under the color of law, not law. The the violation of civil rights is that the due process is done because they're supposed to hold, uh, a, they're supposed to bring you into court and determine if you can afford to pay or if you have to pay. They don't do that. They automatically just sign you up for payments. And that's that's a violation of your civil rights. But most people don't know that. And being that the lawyers and the judges are all a part of the payment program, they're not going to tell you that. They're going to they're going to persecute you and railroad you to jail the same way they do with all these drugs, which they're now trying to make legal. So if you're going to make all these hard drugs because and they're saying that it's going to help people with the stress, what they got to deal with, you're causing the stress. By taking away their way of life, hey, but we want America to fall. And the main people that are, and the main people that do drugs, because they're gonna, they're saying this video that drugs is done equally across the board with all races, but yet uh, Latin X and so-called blacks and so-called Latin X, which are both Israelites, all right. For you black only Israelites, the Latin X are falling under the same curses. You know, you you are higher uh, teaching clowns. You black only Israelite clowns. It didn't say that someone would share in your curses. Dummies. I'm going to call you what you are. Let's read that again. Isaiah 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, but none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore. And then they'll hold you in prison for, for however many years. And then they'll turn around and not give you any compensation at all or give you very little. Okay. But there is going to be a, a, a recompense for this, for this wickedness. You best believe it. This is Job uh, 22 and 10. Therefore, snares are round about thee and sudden fear troubleth thee. Right, because Jake can be doing nothing at all, just riding along in a car, as you saw, and end up behind bars. Or Esau will poke and prod at you until you, you, you know, or, or, or hit you and strike you to the point to where you, you defend yourself. And then that's exactly what they wanted you to do. Now that they're, they're adding charges upon your charges, because now you're resisting arrest. So you you struck an officer. When they're degrading you and trying to uh, belittle you 
and insult your manhood. All right. And when you don't stand for it, they criminalize you. This is 2 Samuel 22 and 6. The sorrows of hell compass me. This is also a great scripture to prove to you that hell is a condition and not a place for you stupid Christians and you idiot Israelites who still teach that garbage, man. When hell, when you break down the word, it's the ground, the grave, the ground. All right. There's no such thing as hell. You don't, that's unbalanced. You don't do, uh, uh, there's no crime that you can commit that sentences you to, to a million years to infinity in a burning and suffering for one lie, for one adultery, for one murder. The Lord punishes you. He, he gives you your sentence. And then, and then he sends you back down in, into a new vessel and you pay out and you pay for your, your crime then. That's scriptural. I want to change the lesson though. But yeah, this is a great scripture to prove that point. The sorrows of hell compass me about and the snares of death prevent me. So they 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 surround they uh they catch you up in this system and create a hellish condition for you to live in. All right? Let's go to uh Let's fast forward this video a little bit more toward the end here. Fixing the system. No, there is no fixing the system. The system tilts in a direction that uh, is unjust. And particularly when you think about nonviolent drug offenses, this is an area where the statistics are so skewed. You have to question uh, whether we have become numb to the cost that it has on uh, these communities, uh, whether we... And see, he set up these systems that destroy and spoil our houses and destroy our families and send, and lock so many of our young men up and then deny them opportunity. And then they turn around and they persecute you and make life difficult for you when you can't get a job because you can't meet the requirements that they've required of you. Um, because you're denied certain access to things once you have these things over your head. All right. That's how they operate. Still to Minnesota. This is what one police officer called out while he watched. How long I gotta hold him down? Why would he drugs, kids? So we see over and over again that when police um kill someone, particularly somebody unarmed, they look for some history of drugs or drug involvement as if somehow that justifies their action, even though it, at most it's only tangential. Every community at every socioeconomic level uses drugs at pretty much the same level. So the fact that these things keep happening primarily to black and brown people has nothing to do with the drugs. It has everything to do with drug law enforcement. In the UK... Yeah, because they went into this video. Like I said, they didn't want to show too much of it because I was trying to avoid a strike. But they show you how they used the, the same attack on, on, on Moab in the earlier part of the last century. How uh, Moab and, um, and Esau both were using opioids, but Moab was smoking it. And Esau was taking it in, in, in more edible form and pills and things like that. So they outlawed the way they, and then they wrote horrible things in their newspapers about them. The same thing they did to Jake. All right. And that they were the problem. And see, you have to understand, they also sh showed you how to use Moab to build the railroads. But you know what? It's funny. Moab gets a lot of credit for that. But there was a lot of Negroes on those railroads, railroads that were working for free. All right. It, at least Moab was getting paid. So don't, that they could write. Don't forget about that part. Negroes helped build the railroads too. And, but both of the people were oppressed, but none like us. You know, none, none like, like the Southern Kingdom. And, um, and the same thing they did to Moab, they did to Jake. But they would write these things because they would talk, they were writing about cocaine and, and how destructive it was. And, and, you know, and Esau, like I said, Esau is the heaviest drug use. And in, in, in the midst of this pandemic is evidence of that. When you look at the amount of deaths from suicides, overdoses and things like that. Most of it being fentanyl and, and, uh, and, and opioids. But you also have a heroin uh, issue. 
and you have a meth issue, and those are mainly Edomite issues. You got to remember they've they've lost over the last uh, this opioid thing is forty is is what twenty two years old or something to that effect, or forty years old. If I'm not mistaken, forty years old and twenty two plus million have been lost, and most of those have been a baby making age uh, uh, adults of the of the Caucasian persuasion. Hence the reason why their numbers are so low. And that they're, they're always trying to control the census and lying about the numbers and calling people of color white when they come to this country. Different different Arabs and Indians and people, right? <laughs> different African uh, uh, people. You got chocolate and brown people being, being referred to as white when they come to America. You know, some of, the, some of these uh, heathens that have melanin. It's, re it's crazy. Okay. Police often claim they use stop and search powers to deal with knife crime. But in London, over the first seven months of this year, only about 20% of searches were for knives, while over 65% were carried out under the Misuse of Drugs Act. The burden of this falls massively disproportionately on people of colour. There it is, man. So, because why? Because the same issue here in America goes on over there. The private prisons are owned by Edomites and the stockholders investors are Edomites. So they need those jails filled and they don't, they're not going to fill them with their own sons and daughters. They're going to fill them with you. This is what they've done and actually had one of the, one of uh, a high profile uh, banker. One of the, matter of fact, the, pre, the CEO of one of the biggest banks in the world. I sat there right at his coffee table in his house before starting a training session with his wife and daughter asking him about, uh, uh um, First-time investments and what's the fastest and easy way to make money, and you know he and because he liked me, <laughs> because his family liked me, I was a friend of the family. He just told me the truth. He said this is going to sound negative to you, all right. But if you really want to, this is how you make the money fast. And he told me to invest in the prisons. And the crazy thing is, is that the moment that he said it, I didn't understand it until later on. Okay, so uh, but you know what? There, there is a vengeance and a payment coming for these for these crimes against the Israelites, man. This is uh, and all these false social constructs that you want to call us by daily without without ceasing. All right, this is Isaiah thirty four and eight, and it reads: For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. You are going to admit? You're going to be forced to admit that we are indeed the Israelites. We're not Latins. We're not natives. We're not Negroes. We're not niggers and spiggers and, and, and tree forest, forest niggers. That's one of the names they used to call the, uh, the so-called natives. They used to call them tree niggers and forest niggers. All right. But we are indeed the monument of the Lord, the Lord's chosen, his elect, the apple of his eye. You're going to be made to pay for touching us, man. This is a. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 43. And they're tallying up the uh, the electoral stuff as we and it, uh, as as basically as I make this video. And there's been riots and civil unrest in Portland and different parts of the country, man. And I hope that it just continues to spiral out of control until this place is burning, man. All right. So, so that they can go ahead and get, get, do what they're going to do and put their hands on the Lord's elect, you know, and, and so we can get the hell out of here. Go ahead and force your chip, for, force your vaccination and force your, force your chip and make the, the, make the horrible mistake of touching the Lord's elect. And then you're going to see. All right. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 43. And it reads, rejoice, O ye nations with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. So only people going to get mercy are the Israelites and even more so the elect of Israel. Once again, this, this is scripture also proves that the Lord judges whole nations. So no matter how many videos you make exposing the crimes uh, uh, of, of, of Caucasians, so-called the Edomites who wanted to who, who run from their title, you're going to be forced to embrace who you are, too. 
All right. The false contrast, because as you can see, his shirt is white and his skin is not. They're not the same color. That's that translucent paleness. He gets embarrassed. He gets sick. He gets smacked. He's going to turn bright red. Just like they're described in the Bible. Call Halal Yahweh by Shinabashai, 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 by Shinabashai